Magandang buhay! Welcome back to our virtual class. So today, we are in part 2 in our lesson about the changes in solid materials. For that, let's have a short review. Identify what you can do to change the properties of the following materials. So these are the choices. So scissors for cutting, iron for pressing, hammer for hammering, and bending for a bending action. First, we have a candle. What can you do to change the properties of a candle? So we have the choices bending, cutting, or pressing. So the correct answer is bending. So when bending the candle, you can change the size and the shape of it. Number two is aluminum foil. So the choices are bending, cutting, or hammering. And the correct answer is cutting. So you can change the size and the shape of aluminum foil by cutting. Number three is a bottle cup. So what are the actions or ways can you do to change the properties of a bottle cup? So we have here hammering, bending, or pressing. And the correct answer is bottle cup can be hammered and it will change in size, shape, and texture. Next, number four, pillow. So what can you do to change the properties of a pillow? So we have bending, hammering, or pressing. And the correct answer is pressing. So in pressing a pillow, you can change the shape and the texture of a pillow. Next is a metal roof. So what are the actions that you can do to change the properties of a metal roof? So you can press, hammer, or bend. And the correct answer is hammering. So you can hammer the metal roof to change the shape, size, and the texture. Good job! Now, let us try to investigate these properties of materials in the next activity. With the given solid materials, show ways by which you can change the properties of the materials. In this activity, you are going to use your module and the answer sheets. So write your answers on your answer sheet. So what happened to the following solid materials when they were bent, pressed, hammered, or cut? Did it form a new material? The answer is no. Why? No new material formed. Only the physical appearance was changed. Now let's try this. Identify the action and tell what changes will happen to the properties of the materials. So what is the first picture? Very good, cutting a paper. So what will happen to the paper or to the properties of a paper after cutting it? It will change in size and shape. Very good! Next, 
teacher. Okay, very good. Bending a slipper or a rubber slipper. Now, what will happen to the properties of a rubber slipper because you bend it? Correct. It will change in size and shape. Next picture. What is this? Very good. Bending a paper clip. Now, after bending a paper clip, what are the changes happen to the properties of a paper clip? Great! It will change the size and shape of a paper clip. Next picture. What is this? Okay, very good. A dough. So when pressing a dough, what do you think? What will happen to the properties of a dough? Good job! It will change in size, shape, and texture. Next picture. Very good. Cutting a leaf. So what changes will happen to the leaf? Good job! It will change the size and shape. Next picture. What is that? Very good. Bending a sunglasses. Now, what changes happen to the properties of a sunglass? Very good. It will change the size and the shape. Next, what is that? Hammering a metal spoon. Very good. Now, what changes in the properties of a metal spoon after hammering it? Good job. It will change the size, shape, and even the texture. Next, pressing or hugging a pillow. So, what are the changes? Very good. It will change in size and shape and even the texture of a pillow. Next picture is... Very good. Hammering a metal. So, what do you think will happen to the metal after hammering it? Good job! It will change in size, shape, and texture. And what is this? Okay, cutting a watermelon. So, when cutting a watermelon, it will change the size and the shape of the watermelon. Some solid materials can be changed through many ways, such as bending, pressing, hammering, cutting, and others. Such actions may change the material's size, shape, texture, and other properties. When bending, pressing, hammering, or cutting, no new material is formed. Only the physical appearance of the materials is changed. Now, let's do this. Follow what I say. Are you ready? Okay. So everybody, stand straight. Raise your right hand. And bend your body to the left. Again, stand straight. Raise your left hand. Then bend your body to the right. Then go back to your position. So what did you do in the activity? Very good. You bend your body to the right and to the left. So when you bend your body, was there a change that happened? So how do you describe the change or the changes that happen to your body after bending? So after bending or while bending, your body change in shape. So what might happen if you bend your body too much? So over bending your body may cause bone fracture. So you have to take extra care in bending your body or doing physical activities. That's all for today. I hope you learned something new today. Goodbye and have fun learning!